So we are very near the end of 2021 and this year I have made four videos of learning different cardistry moves. Now I need to see whether I can still do them all in one take. We will see. All right, we're gonna start in order of what I learned and we're gonna start off actually nice and simple with Breakdown by Peter McKinnon. We should be able to get that straight away. Even chuck a revolution cut on the end. Look at that. So this next one I am mildly concerned about. It is the flicker shot, which is a really cool move and I'm very glad that I learned it. I put in quite a lot of effort in one weekend to get it down, but I've recently had trouble with it. If you watched this recent Instagram video, you might have seen the behind the scenes that I posted to my story of me trying to get the flicker shot and it didn't exactly work out very well. Why are my flicker shots terrible? So, fingers crossed, let's give this a go right now. One card, first try. Sorry, green screen. Okay, I caught it. I don't think it worked very well. I don't think it's flicking. Oh, I didn't catch it. No! And again. All right, yes. Oh, that went out of frame. Oh, that was a good one. That was completely out of frame. Woo! I apologize. This green screen was a waste of time when trying to do that. Now these next two cardistry moves, these next two flourishes are the ones I am worried about the most. The ones I've put the least amount of time into. Number three is the Riffle Fan. By the way, these are Cartilago playing cards by Franco Pascali. They are very, very nice cards. I do recommend picking some up. Printed by USPCC. All right, first attempt, terrible. But I didn't drop them. We only got about halfway. Let's try it again, eh? No! No! Okay, just ignore my uh, terrible attempts at green screening for now. No! So unfortunately, the riffle fan is just one of the moves that I never quite got the knack of. The last video that I made with the riffle fan was actually very successful and all of those, they're all a different riffle fan. Since then, it kind of very, very temperamental. It's just something that's just gonna come slowly, I think. Ah. <laughs> that's not too bad. Ah, getting better. Hey, that was a good one. So that riffle fan was of a very questionable quality and is definitely something that isn't very good and I need to refine it a bit more. I'm just gonna do that slowly over time and as I do it more and more, it should hopefully get better and better. I mean, like I can technically still do it, so success. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. I don't know what to do with my hands. And now we come to the final cardistry flourish that I learned this year on video, at least I have learned other things. And that is the one-handed shuffle, which if you've watched the video, you will know I kind of wrecked my index finger because I did it for like an hour and a half in a row, which was a stupid idea, I do not recommend. After that, I started practicing it again like a week later after the finger had healed, and I haven't put in that much practice, but I think I can do it. Let's try for the one-handed shuffle. I haven't done it with Cartilago playing cards, and these might be a bit too new to be able to do it. But we are getting somewhere. Don't screw it up now. All right, push these in. Push these in. This is the hardest bit. And bridge. Oi! Yes! First try. Oh, yes. Woohoo. I'm amazing. Woo! Oh. So I was very happy just then to get that one-handed shuffle first try. It actually ended up being quite a good shuffle as well. I have learned other things, like I said. I just don't document it all because some of it's just quick little things, such as backdrop, which has been quite fun to play around with. I don't think I've done it in a video yet. And thank you for watching. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I'll see you all in the next video.